All right, guys, coming at you with another video today on this Wednesday night. Hope you guys are having a great night, great day, whatever. Today we are going, oh, I'll address the comments of the previous video. I got quite a few comments, which is awesome. Uh, Captain, um, a lot of a lot of stories, which I like to hear. A Captain America mom, shout out to her, I think, her or him. I don't want to assume, but I would assume that that is a woman. I hope you're doing well. Um, one person actually asked about a limp node video, and this is dear to my heart a little bit because my father um, has follicular lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's. It's not necessarily that bad. Um, it is technically active, but um, it is very slow growing, which is which is promising. We're basically waiting for a triggering event for um, treatment. Um, and it's weird. It's a weird type of, of, of timeline where you don't want to do treatment too early because you'll weaken your immune system and it'll come back later. Anyways, um, so for me, I actually do have a swollen lymph node that it's been swollen for years and I haven't really noticed or I haven't really, um, I haven't really changed anything. I, I got it checked out. I got it ultrasound, um, and it was like almond size. There's two of them and they, they haven't grown at all in those two years. They've just stayed the same size they've been. And, uh, there's, there's not necessarily many remedies for this. Um, typically this can come from, and, and, and we can come from lymphoma. And if you're concerned about that, let's talk about, I guess the biggest issue. So if, if it's lymphoma, got to get this checked out if it's if it's swollen and it's been swollen for more than three months i'd go get an ultrasound just to be safe um but once that's out of the question you got to like found out it's like oh okay this is not that bad it's not growing kind of thing my dad's were growing so that's where we knew it was a problem um i'll continue to monitor them if they start growing that's that's probably an issue but i haven't noticed that they're growing at all and it's been four years since initially i checked them out I, you could look back on my video. I think it was three years I checked it out. Um, got them checked out, but I've had it for four years um, that I've noticed. So it could have been even longer. And it could have been just a bad infection. Um, a bad infection is one of those two. But get it checked out. But here's, here's, I jumped ahead there. Here's some issues you could have with it. So a bad infection, the lymph nodes swell up and they just stay swelled up. Um, it's just a an you know, overreaction of the immune system of a severe and I've had some pretty severe viruses before uh, when I was very healthy um, that um, really knocked me out for the count for a week or so I lost my voice or you know you could just get I worked at an airport so you can get some severe pathogens um, that come through um, that you are unaware of and the body doesn't respond well well it, I guess it responds well eventually but the initial response is an overreaction. Um, and so that could be one thing. Another thing is I've had my wisdom teeth out and um, there there could be a buildup of bacteria and, and fluid um, from taking your wisdom teeth out. That's another scenario that could happen. Um, another scenario too, obviously, is getting sick. But I mean, I, I would say that... I, See, I haven't been sick in two years, so I don't really know. I don't really know how that's supposed to feel anymore, which is good, I guess. But I haven't been sick for the longest point in my life, which is awesome. You know, eventually I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna get sick eventually, but um, you know, it's uh, the vitamin D is working. So uh, I guess to kind of prevent things like this from happening is to fortify your immune system. This can be caused by severe reactions to things. So strengthening your immune system is huge. Um, and, and also don't touch it. I know it's tough. I monitor it, I touch it, I'm a hypocrite. But if you can sustain from not touching it, um, a touching it can make it, you know, get red or, you know, not necessarily swell, but if you, if you do it hard enough, obviously you can damage it and it could swell. Um, so just, just things to look out for. I know that's, that's not always the easiest thing to do because you're kind of freaking out. You're like, what is this? But that's one thing you just need to be persistent about is like, don't, don't touch it. 
Uh, don't touch it if you can. Um, I think the bottom line with lymph nodes, and I have them in my neck, so I'm not totally sure on armpits and you know other places. This can happen in all different types of cases. The lymph nodes are very powerful and they're good. If, if they swell, it's not necessarily a bad thing. That just means you're you're having an amino response. Um, and, and typically they're mostly temporarily, but if they stick around for a longer time, I found that people with anxiety do have um, enlarged lymph nodes. I just have found that more of a common, based off of my response to my videos, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of people um, that, that have had this symptom um, besides me. So maybe it's a common occurrence in someone that's anxiety. This is one thing that I don't think has been researched as much, and I haven't done as much research on it as well, um, because I got it tested out. It's just kind of like anxiety. It's like it produces all these symptoms, you know, and it just throws things out of whack. So your body could have had an overreaction to a virus because you're so anxious. The lymph nodes overreact, swell up, and they don't come back down. And that's that's fine. You know, uh, you have thousands, I should say thousands. You have hundreds of, I think hundreds or thousands of lymph nodes. And if, if, if you swell, that's fine. The one things that I would say that I would look out for is if it's like round in nature, mine's more flat, but swollen. Um, if they, obviously the biggest one is if they keep growing. If they keep growing, that's time to get them checked out. If they're not growing, there's really not too much signs of concern unless you have severe, severe symptoms. Um, and it's one of those things is, is like, it, you can't be upset about lymph node swelling. That's a good thing. If they didn't swell, if you didn't react to it, your body would get crushed by a virus. Um, it's, it's where it really does a lot of the fighting and helps uh, your immune system really keep stable and, and keep fighting and stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's just a quick video on lymph nodes. Um, if you have any questions please comment below if i didn't go into too that too much depth which i didn't i'd love to hear some questions so i can answer so have a great day peace